Morning fog this week providing atmosphere for housing residents getting ready for a Halloween. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on Fort Mead's Halloween activities in a moment. Also this week, Mullins Track to get resurfaced and the Patuxent Wildlife Refuge is looking for a few good hunters. These stories and much more at first. In June, the Army announced Project Inclusion, the operational arm of the Army's five-year plan to improve diversity, equity, and inclusion. Army leaders at all levels have started listening sessions to gather data. Here at Fort Meade, Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland is looking for volunteers from the Garrison. Project Inclusion is the DOD's new holistic effort to eliminate both overt prejudice and unconscious bias. As a Garrison Commander, I have stood up a task force led by the Headquarters Command Battalion Commander to engage Garrison employees and discuss the impact of diversity and inclusion in our operations. The primary mission of the task force is to collect data and conduct listening sessions across the force in order to gain an understanding of our current environment. So I'm asking you all to take that first step by participating in these listening sessions and having the hard discussions about the issues affecting our society and our workspaces. Sessions will be conducted in groups of 10 to ensure social distancing guidelines are enforced and to ensure each session is a safe space where honest and non-judgmental experiences and ideas can be exchanged. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. I want to understand how each of you may have been affected by current issues impacting our country, and I want to hear how you think we can strive for a more diverse and inclusive workforce. Project Inclusion is more than a label. It's your chance to help us make sure we have the right focus and environment for treating each other with dignity and respect. In other news, the Patuxent Wildlife Research Center in neighboring Laurel is hosting its first ever mentored hunt. The intention is to introduce first time adult hunters to hunting with the help of experienced mentors. Uh, we've decided to offer our first mentored deer hunt. Um, we're basing it off of successful hunts at other refuges. John Hines in Philly um, has had a successful youth deer hunt. And then uh, uh, Blackwater over in the Eastern Shore has had successful turkey and deer hunts. So uh, it's just a way to recruit new hunters, folks that might have an interest um, but don't have an avenue to get there. Maybe they don't have family or friends um, to teach them those skills. So um, we want to partner experienced hunters with folks that are interested in learning. The hunt is scheduled for December 5th. Cangelosi says that volunteer mentors need to be in place by the first week of November. Uh, so we'd love to have experienced hunters come out and be mentors for us. And then if folks want to get involved um, and they want to learn to hunt, uh, they can certainly do that as well. And the best way to do that is to Google um, Maryland DNR Mentored Hunt. It'll take you right to a page. You can scroll down. There will be a Blackwater hunt, a, lore, a Patuxent hunt. And on there, you just click. It'll send you to a link to fill out an application. Experienced hunters that want to volunteer to be a mentor can call Cangelosi at 301-497-5766. Meanwhile, in MWR news, the outdoor track at Mullins Field is being resurfaced from approximately November 9th through December 16th. The entire fenced area will be locked and closed during the resurfacing to prevent user injury. MWR apologized for any inconvenience during this facility improvement. Elsewhere, the Freedom Inn Dining Facility's Thanksgiving Feast draws hundreds of service members, civilians, and family members every year. This year, due to COVID-19 restrictions, the Thanksgiving meal will only be open to active duty service members. Unfortunately, the civilian population of the Fort Meade community will not be able to join us um, for Thanksgiving. However, we are having uh, the special Thanksgiving feast for active duty service members. So, because it's limited seating, uh, because it is six foot social distancing requirement, the mask wearing, all of that, um, we just felt that this wasn't really our call, but um, I think it's army wide, so it's being modified this year. COVID-19 is also affecting typical Halloween celebrations, but that's not stopping the installation from offering some alternatives. Gaffney is offering a virtual 5K run and walk all week. The Lane's a reservation only Hallow Bowl. The USO's Hollow Week photo booth is open October 26th through the 30th, and they're also holding a spooky yard decorating contest. And here at the Garrison Public Affairs Office, we're staging a week-long scavenger hunt. You can look for clues on our social media platforms and digital need throughout Hollow Week. Folks that complete the challenge will receive a gift from the Lanes Bowling Center. And as a matter of fact, there's a clue hidden somewhere right here in this edition of Mead Week. Good luck finding it. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.